Hi everybody, it's John with Backyard Eating, and I thought I'd bring you a quick look at my potatoes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back, and we are taking a quick look at our potatoes that we are getting ready for planting uh, here in just about another week or so. Uh, it will be time to get those in the ground. So right now is the perfect time to make sure and have those potatoes ready. So if you followed us so far, we've done a video on how to chit potatoes. No, I didn't say a bad word. I said how to chit potatoes potatoes. You can check that video out here. Uh, and basically chitting is simply getting those potatoes to sprout. Now there are a couple of ways to do potatoes. Uh, I chose to chit those potatoes or let them sprout for a couple of reasons. One, because I wanted to see um, on the smaller potatoes, those will just go in the ground whole. But on some of the larger potatoes, like for example this one, Okay, this is a red potato that I had uh, bought from the store and I had let sprout. So you can see here's a big sprout here, here's a big sprout here, here's a big sprout here. Now guys, these, they don't have to be sprouted this much or anything like that. Uh, all, you really, all you're really looking for is this little bitty sprout right here. If you can see it right there between my two fingers. Um, that's all you need and you can actually tell that before it's actually sprouted. So for example, on this little potato here, you can actually see that, let me see, where was that? Right here, there's an eye. An eye is just simply a spot where a sprout will form um, if, if allowed to. So here's another one right here, here's another one right here. And like I said, guys, before they actually sprout, you can see those. So the, the two ways to do it is you can, one, let them sprout like this, uh, and a lot of times people will do that if they're going to plant the whole potato. So some of the smaller ones, for example, this potato here is a smaller potato. Uh, it does have two sprouts, one on either side. So this can be either the whole thing can be planted or you can cut that down the middle. Um, and that's actually what we're doing today is we're going to be taking some of these potatoes and cutting them uh, so that we can actually get more potatoes to plant. So. I've got a few different things here uh, for my potatoes. I've got a just a seed tray, and all I'm gonna do here is once they're cut, I'm gonna lay them in here. But when you cut them, you have to give them time to heal. Uh, and what, what that all that is really is you're allowing them time to dry. You're wanting the sugar and and the uh, the the starch in here to kind of kind of harden to form a protective uh, coating really over that cut. Um, if you put a potato that you just cut, if you plant that directly in the ground without letting it heal, it'll just rot. Um, so this process is definitely needed if you're cutting your potatoes. Uh, if you're planting them whole, you can just plant the entire potato. That's up to you. Uh, but what I found in the past, um, last year when I planted my potatoes, I planted them whole, just like that. I took the whole potato, put it in there. Uh, and what I found is you, all, you don't get as much as you would get if you were to cut them. One being, if you cut them in half, now you have two pieces you're going to plant instead of one. So it's basic math. Um, you don't have to have a whole potato in order for it to be successful. So what we're doing is we're going to be cutting our potatoes here. Some of them will be cut, some of them won't. It just depends on size. Uh, I've got a variety of potatoes. I've got some reds that I saved that are already sprouted. I've got some uh, just, they were just labeled yellow uh, potatoes that I've saved uh, that are sprouted. I've got some little, little small yellow potatoes as well. I believe these are Yukon Golds that haven't sprouted, but you can see the eyes. These will be cut. And then I've also got some seed potatoes that I bought from the store. So I'll kind of take a look through those and see if there's any that I can do. Most of the time when you buy seed potatoes, they're, they're smaller potatoes, so you can just plant the whole thing. 
I've got Yukon Gold and I've got Red Norlin. And then I've also got some, uh, they're called Buttery Bites that are Petite Gold, Petite Gold Potatoes. Now what happened with these is we bought them from the store and they kind of got shuffled to the back of the pantry and kind of forgot about them. So there's a couple in there that are bad. And so I'm going to go through those and make sure um, to get the bad ones out of there. And then whatever I can't use uh, to eat, I'm going to save to, to, to plant. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty knife. And it really is just a steak. It's just a steak knife. There's nothing special to it. But this, I'm just going to take this knife and I'm going to find the eye on the potato. Here's one right here. Uh, here's one right here. And I'm going to simply cut the eye off. You don't want to, you want at least some potato around it. You want to have at least some to it. And what I'm talking about is if you were to plant this part right here, this part right here is real wet. You see how it's real wet and it, it glistens? Okay, see that? This needs to be, you need to let this heal. You need to let this scab over. Uh, the sugar, the starch in it will actually form a crust over this part and will protect it from rotting. So, let's see if there's another one. Yep, there's another one right here. Just like that. And you wanna leave some potato to it. That is actually gonna help it have enough food to start. So we're back. I've got all the potatoes cut and I've got them all put in this tray. Um, so what I did was I went through each of the little bags of the seed potatoes that I had bought at the store and decided, you know, if this one needed to be cut, I cut it. If this one didn't, I left it just like it was. And yeah, all the potatoes are cut um, that needed to be cut and they're all in this tray. All right, so guys, after you get your potatoes cut, the next step is to get these outside. Um, you want to make sure that all the cuts have time to properly heal uh, and form that crust over. Uh, right now it's glisteny, see that? Kind of glisteny. You want the sugars and the carbs in this or the starch in this to really start to process and really form that nice crust over it. That'll prevent your potatoes from rotting or from rotting once you put them in the ground. So get this outside. Uh, you want to take, you want to give them about a week or so to heal properly. So I'm going to get these outside and let them start curing. So the next video up on the potato playlist will be planting potatoes. So make sure you stay tuned and the best way to do that is to go ahead and subscribe. Click the little bell icon beside the subscribe button and what that will do is you'll get a notification whenever we put out a new video. Uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you know someone that's grown potatoes this year, uh, go ahead and share it with them. Share it with your friends and family. Um, we're really looking forward to a, a, an awesome harvest, and so make sure you stay tuned to, to see that. Um, if you haven't checked us out on social media, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Go ahead and give us a like over there. And if you haven't checked out our website, go to www.backyard-eden.com. And as always, guys, this is John. Have a great day. Hey, you made it to the end. Awesome. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right below this video. And please, if you enjoyed it, share with your friends. And I hope that you come back and continue to watch our content and also have a awesome day.